No, it does. It maybe does take a time to realise the uh, significance of it. But yeah, I'm definitely like noticed every time there's a festival. Old pretzel comes back. So. Okay, we've got our earnings, 440, very nice, so we now definitely have enough finding these elephant irises everywhere. And like I say, we'll just keep giving them to Annabelle whenever we see her. I try not to give things more than once a day, I think we're going the wrong way. You're going the wrong way, Sheila. Same with the plums, because they are going to run out eventually. I'll go down to the beach and see if there's any seashells or anything like that down there. Why not? I'm on a super fast horse. Or I am a super fast horse. Nobody knows which. Oh good, some luscious oranges and some spiral seashells. time work at his shop at his bakery because I can make a little bit more money in the mines but doing part-time work is really good for social so it's like uh, this this particular stream I'm very very focused on social however I am also a little bit focused on being generous so that I can appeal to the spirit of generosity There's the market. Oh, you better not be shut for the market. If it's shut for the market, I'm going straight to bed. Okay, I can give presents out. That's fine. Everything's going to be shut for the market. I'm not going to be able to do part-time work. I'm not going to be able to do anything. I can speak to Sparrow. I'm happy so many villagers seem to enjoy my cooking. I've sold several recipes already. Oh, you know, you might be able to give me a recipe or something. We'll be back on the seventh of fall. Yeah, I had a feeling that that would be around the time, some point in fall. Once I had the calendar, I'd be able to see when he was uh, kind of due to be back. <laughs> Sorry, we'll for you. Brush Heather for you. Benjamin to fix a leak on my roof. Oh well, I suppose there's always the next market. There always is, yes. I always have to pay people for things as well. Like horses and chickens <laughs> and stuff. Darn and great. I love how the juice is just burnt with flavour. Um, Annabelle. That was brighten up any environment when they're arranged well. You should really buy a window planter if you don't have one. I don't really care about window planters when I don't have enough money even to get a chicken. Yet. Let's have a look. So we've given presents to um, Barley and Petal. Dimitri? No. Haley? No. Violet? No. Annabelle? No. Brent? No. Quint? Still no. I wasn't sure whether you meant me having zzzz in the game or uh, or you were going to, to bed. I think it was to do with me 
Do I have the recipe for crunchy toast now? Because I have a feeling like I might do. Which might help quite considerably. Okay, yeah, um, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have a chat with people. I'm gonna get that paintbrush. I'm gonna see if Amber wants it, because she is an artist. That fine paintbrush is beautiful. Are you giving that to me? Yes, you can have it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sheila. I've never had a brush with such fine bristles. I'll find a gift to pay you back, yeah? I don't know if anyone ever heard the story of the man that traded a paperclip up for a house. Just traded up and traded up and traded up. And kept trading things with people. So he liked it. He traded the paperclip for a pen and the pen for something else and then and then something else for something else and like eventually ended up with a house. It was crazy. Crazy if you listen to the story. I, think. I don't know if it was a TED talk on it or something. That might have been where I heard it. I'm not certain. But it was kind of insane. Don't worry, she love. Even though I'm here enjoying the market, I'll still make it out to your farm tonight to pick up any goods that might need shipping. You're a very good boy. Hunter and I were chatting in break the Lockport Bash last week. Neither of us ended up winning, but it was still fun. Yeah, I know. The energy at events like this is contagious. I just feel like running around and enjoying the summer sunshine. Sparrow brought samples of the recipes he's selling. I might have to have a taste. Smoky deviled eggs. Chewy chocolate cookies. Oh man, that would be a really good one. Vegetable stuffing. Breakfast muffins. Toasted wrap. So many cool things. <sighs> but I can't afford them if I want to do what I want to do. So I'm going to turn myself back into a horse. And I am, I am literally, I'm going to go to bed. Told you I was, and I am. Oh, Dimitri, do you want a banana before I go? Yeah, I think somewhere in the middle it involved a, a, a snow globe that some celebrity wanted. So the, the celebrity like traded the snow globe for like getting to meet him or something, and that really really helped. On or about June the 2nd, 2006, he traded the snow globe to Corbin Burnson for a role in the film Donna on Demand. Yeah, and then they and then got a music label contract, yeah, and then eventually it ended up being a house. Like just crazy. time for the whole rest of the day. Um, Abak, if you're still there, do you need me to wrap up the stream soon? I realise I've been going for quite a while. Let me know. I started a bit late, unfortunately. Later than I wanted to start. I wanted to start at 9 and I started at 10. Grubby stone! Gleaming stone! Grubby stone! 
Gleaming stone. Well, I want to. I want to give the money to the town hall and um, do that spirits quest. I, I want that to be and see what like reward I get from that. So that'll be another couple of days worth of play. quite a few. Uh, maybe 10-15 sort of minutes or something, it's not super long. But maybe about another half hour or so, hour tops. right next to the mine. theater going on it's just our act playing it on its own it that game was never designed for multiplayer and it was not very well balanced for it in my opinion whether theater 2 might be better i'm not sure but that one might be from the ground up you know built for multiplayer from the ground up rather than tacked on at the end they did a really good job trying to add multiplayer nice like that. I like that it gives you a little table in the middle as well. Okay, let's sit me down at the table and see what we found. So, we have nine gleaming stones, seven grubby stone and three sparkling stones. So let's do the grubby stones first. All of them. Two cut amber and an opal. Nice. Not too bad for grubby stones. Gleaming stones. We'll do all nine. 
Grambo two o four. And my sparkling stones. Three. Two o. Oh, that's not too bad. Sapphires and diamonds would have been nice, but we'll uh, we'll make do. So this is the first stream I've actually managed to get into the Friday night slot. I'm going to try really hard to do as uh, do that as much as possible. At the moment, it's not a set schedule, but it'll be around about this time each Friday. So you look out for me if you're around. Okay, I'm going to sell all my gems, so I've got a little bit of extra spare cash. So it's really, really good that there's something that people don't really want that I can just get rid of. Are you going to check on, um, on Rabbit and the horse and everything? Make sure they're all okay. An egg to pick up. And the squirrel needs a feed. Check on if you watered the plants. I don't know about watering the plants. Let's just check that. If I haven't watered the plants, I might run out of energy doing it. I don't think I have, you know. I think you're right. I think I haven't watered them. Let's see how far I can get. Oh, the melons are ready. Yes. I'll be able to harvest them. That'll be something else to sell. That'll be awesome. And I definitely need to go to bed then. And I definitely need to get some more seeds. Couldn't get any more that day because it was a Tuesday market day. But tomorrow, everything should be open again. the diligent postwoman here in our little village uh, when I was a young girl I was orphaned and only by chance did I find my way here to Sugar Blossom I was so lucky that you and Petal were kind and offered to take me in you can always count on me to deliver your mail on time I'm an early riser so it shouldn't be so it should be sorry in your mailbox by the time you wake up every morning as far as personal details will I enjoy taking walks as well as the taste of a good seaside sandwich just be courteous and friendly and we'll always get along perfectly oh, I need to learn how to make those sandwiches seriously so nice of you to come in and share Senna we'll host another interview next week so one thing I want to know is like I learned I'm pretty sure the recipe for crunchy toast but I, I don't know how to make it like it's not in the lazy cooker so I'm thinking there might be a, a toaster oven or something like that that I can put on the side there some kind of little oven and that's maybe how I make sandwiches and things so good night so we're definitely gonna be able to give the money to the Give the money. Oh, let's give the dog some food. In the, in, oh, I don't have any food for the dog. Okay, so I can buy some. I got actual spare money. So, let's see how much the uh, two hundred from those, and I've also actually got some melons to sell. Moon melons. I can sell like maybe eight of them or something. Just keep a few. I think there are some people that like them. Say hello to my dog. Looks happy to be outside. So, okay. Okay, so we need to feed you guys. Fodder and 
and I'll stick in four chicken feed and then I do need some more, I think. What number six states? Oh, come on. Sometimes I just forget how to do the UI in this game. Completely forget. There we go. Four servings of chicken feed in the... Right, so you're good for a few days. It's more and more like Stardew the more I see. It's just like very much more socially based and very much less based around the farming. Because you can see like I've got this tiny little farm. Apparently it used to be half the size as well. Okay, so let's make ourselves into a horse. We'll run to the... Maybe I will give a few presents out on the way. I'm gonna run out of plums though. Oh. I need to learn how to make that stew again, don't I? like that it's weird indigo just sat in the square being all indigo -y. it's not open yet open now open right now nine o'clock oh wow i'll go speak to indigo for a, a bit then oh yeah rest on the bench for one hour yes that would be great a pretty good day today although to be honest i can say the same about most days in sugar blossom everyone's really happy all the time it's crazy i miss having a library here in town not to mention the librarian herself was a great friend well i don't know how to get them back unfortunately really it's not open yet oh come on nine o'clock there we are let's do this donation let's do it right one thousand four hundred exactly how much they said. Right, so that's all my money got. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pop up and get some seeds with my remaining money. Or should I? Because we're getting really close to... Well, tomato seeds I'll do, because tomato seeds are quicker. We have a few days left. Maybe I should check on my calendar how many days there actually are left. I think there's enough to get another tomato harvest through. I don't want to lose the money for it though. Ooh, it's only 28 days. I might leave that then. whole new season in like three days time I don't know if that's long enough for tomatoes so I'm just gonna forget about that and I'm gonna just run around and give presents out like a log after a long day in the summer sun. Let's find what Logan likes other than potatoes. Savory dumplings and tasty milk. I really need a cow. I need a cow so bad. So then I can get tasty milk from the cow. Senna seems to be constantly stuck on that lamp on that uh, post box. for you then. <laughs> we'll run out eventually. I'm hoping that you'll get we'll be able to get you to enough hearts 
or stars or ribbons. Ribbons it is in this one, isn't it? By the time. Actually, I don't even know why I'm in here. I don't want to buy seeds anyway. Hello, have you had any problems with your mail? My route is simple in such a small village, but occasionally something will get mixed up. No, no, it was good. Uh, would you like some breaks? <laughs> I wish I knew how to make a seaside sandwich. <laughs> Go give Haley an egg and then um, I might consider going to sleep early for the day just because I know I know Abrak kind of wants to upload things so I really really want to see what happens with this feral shade. So we might just go to bed early. Three villages with a relationship level at three women's Oh, that's even better then. So that's the library opening. That's fantastic. Where's Haley? You're not Haley. <laughs> Haley around? Is she on the pitch down there? No. Oh, she's missing today. That really sucks. all around the place just to find her. Annabelle, where's Haley gone? Is she in the pub? Oh, I know what I can do, actually. What passes a lot of time and gets me a bit of money is going to do some part-time work. So that is what I will do. Some part time work and then I'll go to bed. Post office isn't. Oh, it's post office. I want to be in the post office. <laughs> Haley's hiding in the hayloft. Ah, oh, probably. Shirking her work. At Haley. Oh no! There won't be any part-time work if uh, the silo's there. I'll try the I'll try the hospital. <laughs> so I guess if I don't get that early enough, he'll just ask Silo to fill in. about part-time work and then and then be like no sorry I can't hee <laughs> hee I was just teasing you oh, okay cool Avax saying don't rush thanks so much for your help today it's not easy being open all day and night so your time is truly appreciated this is good because it passes a bit of time makes me a bit of money and um, gets me some reputation with the people so it's all good <laughs> So I'm already back up to 700 coins, which is pretty nice. I'll get some more because I sold my melons today as well. I think I forgot to get pup food again. Oh, man. I should be able to get some tomorrow though. Okay, gonna head to sleep. Melon's my last thing to... Yeah, that was my last thing to harvest, wasn't it? Let me have a look on the TV just in case. Prophecy quest? Oh, yeah. Sorry, I didn't read the story. I should have. <laughs> oh, look, I can actually read it now. So here we are. After an emotional reunion, our heroes encounter a friendly bard on the edge of a deep, dark forest. But is the enigma enigmatic minstrel what he seems? It's a repeat episode. I've already seen it. No, I don't. I think I. I think I've had all of my. I've harvested all of my things for the season. I'm fairly certain. 
I'm ready for bed. I'll double check in the morning though. Oh, open your eyes once again. Oh yeah, 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 because we did the... We did the uh, donation. <gasps> it's a rabbit! It's Ivana the rabbit. It is I, Ivana. Do you remember my promise, young friend? I tasked you with displaying generosity through your donation. As a generous, sorry, a generous soul is someone who places the needs of her neighbours before her own. Someone who understands herself to be one piece of a larger community and who is willing to share the fruits of her labour. When you're charitable with your own time and efforts, you'll notice a change in the world around you. The grass will feel softer beneath your toes. Water will flow more clearly and crisply in the streams. And that's what I can offer you, young friend, to show you the importance of your gifts. A kinder village, a warmer village, bursting with the spirit of generosity. My magic and your my sorry, my magic and my gratitude are yours. When you stand on the eve of a new world's dawn, and my sister Chloe resolves that your efforts have been enough. I shall stand beside you. So Jade and Ivana will stand beside me. Fantastic. Farewell, Shelab, until that dawn breaks. Yay! So I want to see if anything happens in the morning as well. Sometimes it does. Gain the support of the nature spirit, Ivana. Yes. That's a big thing now. So I've got like two or three out of, depending on how Chloe stands, out of the five spirits are on my side now. Yes. I just hope there isn't like a spirit of dog feeding. Three hundred and sixty-eight. Yes, I have a thousand now. That's almost enough to buy another chicken. Fantastic. Okay. So I actually think I am going to wrap the stream up there. So we got to see um, the Spirit of Arna be all grateful to us. So that's a really big part of this. Like getting the spirits on side is a massive part of this game. And I'm really, really happy that I managed to get Ivana on my side. But we do still have two spirits. And I got a big feeling because there was a generosity spirit. There was a spirit that wanted us to grow a certain amount of crops. So I got a really big feeling that at least one out of the two remaining are going to be something to do with um, getting people to like me, which is why I've been so focused on it, because I know that the social is going to be a big thing here. So that's why I'm trying to get as many people as I can to like me um, indiscriminately. <laughs> uh, we'll see next time as well whether and I'll probably do another stream on this maybe next Friday. Um, we'll see whether what I've done here is enough to bring any other of the villagers back, which will be really interesting. So anyway, that's it for tonight. I hope you enjoyed the episode, um, or the stream even. <laughs> if you did, then uh, please do make sure you're following me. Please do look out on a Friday night for my streams. So I hope to see you all soon. In the meantime, though, look after yourselves and keep being awesome.